today we're going to talk about place value for numbers more than 100. So let's look at this first example that it gives us today. And what should we count first? The tens. How many tens there are? So can you count with me? Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many tens are there? <coughs> there are ten tens. Okay. How many or what number is ten tens? 100. Remember that 10 tens will always equal 100. Okay? So, we have 100, but what's this? What is that? Um, you add, we added more. How many more? One. Just one more. So, instead of 100. Now what do I have? First grade? 101. Very good. Now, listen and watch. This is how we write 101. How many tens did we have? Ten. We had 10 tens. And then how many extra ones did we have? One. What number did I just write? 101. 101. Do you see that? One hundred one. Okay. We, just made we have, you're right, we just looked at the tens. We have ten tens and one extra one. You just see that? One. Because that's how many it was. That's right. And that's how we make one hundred one. Right? Okay, so let's do the next one. Let's do this one right here. Okay, are you ready? I want you, we're going to count how many tens there are. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many tens were there? Ten. How, what number is ten tens? 100. You guys remembered that very well. Okay, now what do we have over here? Extra ones. Let's count them to see how many extra ones we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What do we have? 110. But this last one is how many? So if I have a full 10, what should I do to it? What should I do to it? There you go. Instead of writing all of these 10s, I'm going to draw another line for my extra 10. Okay? Because if I can make a group of 10, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put them together to make them nice and quick and easy. Now, first grade, instead of 10 tens and 10 extra ones, how many tens do I have? I have 11 tens. And how many extra ones? Zero. So what number did I make now? 110. Does that look like 111? Yeah, no. I have no. 110. Okay. It looks like you made it 11. 11. If you had 111, you would have to they change that zero around. to one. You're you excited. switched it around because uh -huh. the, the, there's one zero zero and now there's one one zero. Do you guys see what he's talking about? I have a zero here in the middle and a one here, but then I switched them and put the one here and the zero here. Is it important that they're different? Yes. Yes, yes it is very important that they are different because they are different numbers. 
if I told you to bring 110 cookies to school and you only brought 101 cookies, did you need the right amount? More. No. Not 11 more. more. I need nine more. Okay. So it is very important that you get them written correctly. Okay. The difference is this number has 10 tens and this number has 11 tens. Do you see the difference? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. I want to draw, um, or I'm going to write the number down here for these directions. So, help me out. It says 10 tens and one more. So what number am I going to write first? Ten. Ten. Okay. And then, and one more. See that? Ten. And one more. What number did I just make? 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 Okay. Do you see that? Okay. Let's do it.